Generation does not mean 50 or 60 or 70 years. The Greek word yenea is very often equivalent to the word age in the Old Testament times. So Jesus had said earlier that the people speaking to him, the people with whom he was conversing, that they had killed Abel. Well, they hadn't. But their type had, that generation means that brood of evil people. It means a group of people united by a common, mostly evil characteristic. This wicked generation means this wicked society. That's it. The translations which give you that to get the sense of it. Very non-British, non-American way of saying, but yenea, that word for generation, does not, I repeat, not mean. 70 years. If so, Jesus would have been wrong. He would have been wrong because within 70 years, the second coming did not happen. So back to that first question that you had on the screen there in Matthew 24, the question they ask is, when Jesus speaks of trouble in the temple, destruction of the temple, they then ask the following question, when will these things be that's to say, trouble in the temple. And what will be the sign of your parousia and end of the age? That's one idea. What will be the end, the sign of your coming and end of the age? That's what the Greek says there. And so the answer was that Jesus, in his mind, was thinking of trouble in the temple connected with the end of the age. Why? Because Daniel had said that. Now, let me suggest this to you. Jesus himself did not know whether AD 70 would have been the end of the age. Now, we know there was trouble in the temple in AD 70, but immediately after that, the end of the age and the parousia did not, as you know, happen. Was Jesus wrong? No, of course not. But he himself and the disciples did not know how many years or millennia or centuries would have to transpire before the second coming. What they did know was when the second coming would eventually come, it would be connected with trouble in the temple. And we believe that that will happen in the future. There will yet be trouble in a yet unbuilt third temple. There'll be a time of great unparalleled tribulation and then following that terrible time of difficulty, Jesus will come back literally and visibly and establish the kingdom of God on a renewed earth. That's our futurist point of view, which we would defend.